Hey everybody, this is Antone Tucker. Um, this is a, a, a remake of my State of the Watch Vintage Collection 2019. I have not added any of the new pieces because this is basically done the day after the original video that I posted. The sound quality in the video, very, very, very poor. So uh, in order for me to fix it, I just decided to do the video all over again. That way um, it won't sound so poor in quality. It does these beautiful uh, pieces that I have a disservice to not give them the proper sound quality that they should have while I'm talking about the time pieces. So um, we're going to get into it. We're going to do a, a new review, which was basically just an old review on what we already did. But you didn't see it, so I'm glad you didn't see it. So we're going to start all over again. First, give me a round of applause for being in the building. Okay. Give me another one for my watches. Thank you. That's great. All right. Um, usually people would have their, their watch on to do a customary watch check, but this is the second video I did today. I already did a custom watch check on a video that I, 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 um, I previously uploaded and the video was about, uh, the best ways to purchase watches online. I hope you check that out. Um, it gives you real good tips on how to purchase watches online. I'm telling you, I've seen people with videos and they're telling you how to do this, that, and the third, but they're not really telling you how to do this, that, and the third. They're just, you know, some people are plugging their 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 um their watch websites that they themselves sell. Um, aside from the ones that I named, um, I don't really buy from anybody else. I think that people are uh, some sites are overpriced, and I'm just not into sending you places where people are going to be taking advantage of your coin. So hopefully you've watched that episode and it's giving you uh, some direction on how to start your collection. Um, let's take a, let's take a, 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 a view at cam number two. Let's go right to the collection. Let's go right to this collection. It should have went right there. There you go. Cam two. Let me see. Let me see. How do I want to do this? Let's move cam two over just a little bit while we're in this studio. Look at this beautiful collection. So this is what we're going to do. We're going to deal with the collection now. So we're going to deal with all of the watches that are not vintage first and foremost, which will be these three watches that are here. And um, we'll deal with these watches. We'll talk about them. But before we do, wait, let me get back to it. We will open up a fresh pack and get a fresh pair of white gloves from out of the pack. I have a pack of gloves. That's right. I keep a fresh pack of gloves. So now we can go back to cam number two. Okay. So we're in cam number two. We're going to do uh, a review of these watches. We're going to talk fast while we do them. I'm going to, uh, I'm not going to talk about the movements. I'm not going to get too, too in involved into each one because I will be doing a review on every single piece that I have. So I can get more in depth about the watches. Okay, we'll start off with my everyday watch that I use every day. The watch that gets more wear than any watch. You can see the the uh, paint chipped off on edges of this watch. Paint chipped off. You see it. You see this watch has been used and abused. But this is my Casio F91W. This is a watch that I purchased in California. I was uh, getting one of the Rolexes that I no longer have, consequently, so a service, and I needed a watch to have, and I didn't bring an extra one at the house, and you just feel naked if you're a watch guy and you don't have a watch on. And this $15 watch has been with me through thick and thin. I can tell you that right now. I love this timepiece. I wear it to the gym, and I often wear it to bed. If I'm not wearing this to bed so I can wake up and have a watch. This is a G-Shock Illuminator. Um, my When I want to go camping, when I'm hiking, when I just want to wear some uh, fatigue shorts, and I'm from Brooklyn, so we wear Tim's and shorts together. When I want to have that rugged, you know, look, this is the watch that I'm going for. Um, you can never be let down with having an, uh, a G-Shock 
in your collection. And I believe that anyone uh, under 40 years old that's still active they, and they're collectors, they would have a G-Shock in their collection. I mean, why wouldn't you have a G-Shock? I chose this G-Shock specifically because it has a more retro look to it. Uh, this watch was $48, $50 after taxes in Walmart, and I actually got the watch for 40 bucks, $42 after tax. Next watch is um, one that I chose to get, which I made a mistake on, but I am getting the uh, Seiko um, 007, the, X, the SKX, and I've, I've ordered it already, so it's on its way here. Um, and I, I, This is a, an anniversary gift from my fiance. And um, I asked her to get this for me instead of the watch that I, I really wanted um, to save money. And this watch is beautiful. I mean, you can remove the bezel, so I will remove the bezel at some point. Um, the inside movement to this watch, beautiful. Let me see if I can get it close up on there so we can get it. Look at that. Beautiful. The inside of this watch, absolutely beautiful. The heart just beating inside of it swift movements really really swift movements let me see if you can get a focus on this bad boy that's the only thing i hate about camera two is camera two sometimes likes to be selfish with the focus but look at that beautiful timepiece uh i will show another state of the collection maybe a few months from now to show you uh, how the collection has changed. Uh, next, we'll go to my Aorus Super. Like that. This is a manual wind. Hold on real quick, people. I forgot to get the straps for uh, the watches. You know it'd be me. Pardon me, I'm sorry for that. Naughty me. Naughty, naughty me. Pardon me for that. Okay. And for this, for this watch, it came with this uh, this this really nice leather band for it, and it it, it does the watch justice. I can't even lie to you. It's a quick release, so it's pretty easy to get in and out of. Um, genuine leather, of course. Strap made in Sweden. Okay. And this is a real Horus. This is not one of those fake $25 ripoffs that you see that they do have on eBay. Although I told you I trusted uh, some sellers on eBay. I didn't tell you I trust all of them. There are people who sell Franken watches on eBay. Not the best for you to buy. Oris watches do not cost 25 bucks. This is the only gold plated. I only have one gold plated watch in my collection and only one gold fill watch. And I will not ever buy another plated watch again because I just don't believe in it. I have eczema, I have a skin condition, and these things can trigger it and set it off. I put this on the NATO strap because it's the summertime. Uh, you can get hot. And uh, the NATO strap is just ideal for summer and um, spring weather. Even fall to some degree too. Let's see if we can get a better look at that beautiful condition. I'll give it a wind real quick, so you can see that movement. It moves superb. It's an excellent condition. No blemishes, no scrapes on the crystal. Um, the dial looks amazing, and it's uh, a beautiful add to my collection. Horus watches are not represented the way they should be. Next, we have my Breitling Calistino. I hope I pronounced it correctly. This is the only quartz watch in my collection. This is the only quartz watch that I have in my collection. I know it's missing the hour. Uh, marking dials for the 12, the 3, the 6, and the 9. Um, I went to buy some, but online I see people are ripping people off for these uh, particular pieces. They're trying to sell them at $120 a piece. Some people have them at $150 a piece. For $120 a piece, that's $480. You 
you know, I can buy another timepiece with that amount of money. So now I'm just looking to buy another bezel. I do have this watch listed currently on eBay. I showed this in the last uh, video that I had this listed. This watch is valued at a thousand dollars, and I only have it listed at five hundred bucks. Uh, but I believe that I'll be taking this down off of eBay and keeping it. It's a fun quartz watch to have in my collection. Uh, I have it on my patriotic strap, although it did come with this strap right here. It did come with this strap. I'll be looking to change the, um, it's a genuine leather strap. It did come with this strap. Uh, the strap has some wear on it. So I will be looking to get a, a, a Breitling strap for this watch. A rubber one at that. I've seen a nice rubber one that's really nice that I plan on getting. Uh, a great add to my collection. One of my favorite pieces is this Universal Genie right here. The patina on this dial, amazing. Just the character that it gives it, absolutely amazing. Um, this is definitely, the Universal is definitely a watch that some serious watch collectors have it's um it's a beautiful watch to have this watch is important in my collection because it has great history to it lyle gibson why do i say that because people who usually um engrave their names on their watches it's uh one of two reasons it was a special gift to them or it was uh one of their luxury buys that they had that and it showed that the watch had some true significance to the person we don't own timepieces people we are uh, uh we are caretakers of these timepieces these timepieces will be here longer than i will be and while i'm the caretaker of these timepieces and they are and they are in my collection uh i plan on you know treating them right uh appreciating the value that they have the history that's untold by them the secrets that they may have that you know if they could talk please forget about it let's give it a, a quick spin real quick and look at that look how the movement just and the inside of this watch when i do re the review on this watch i'll show you the inside of this watch is immaculately kept beautifully kept so i love it lyle gibson uh i don't know if you're here still or if you passed on but i have your watch and it's, it's deeply cared for this is the first vintage watch that i've ever gotten myself and it's an orient uh day date month and year full calendar watch this was produced in 1992 okay this is the correct date right now the correct week this watch i just had on earlier today i purchased this watch because i needed it at every day watch let me put it back on my wrist i needed it an everyday watch to wear uh at the time i purchased an automobile for cat an Audemars Piquet and uh, a Hublot Big Bang. Consequently, one of the watches was a great forgery, like really, really, really good forgery. It's really, really hard to tell. Um, I could have sold it to a jeweler and they, they wouldn't have known that it was a, a, fraudri a, a, fr uh, a fraudulent watch. That's how good the, the, um, the watch was uh, being a fake, being a duplicate. And the other was a stolen watch. So I'll get into a story. If you want to know about that story, all you got to do is ask me. Uh, I'll do a video on it, and I'll tell you the story about it, and I'll tell you about the watches, and um, I'll also tell you about this watch, how I come across finding it, um, where I purchased it, where I purchased it from, and um, I can tell you that this watch has been with me for a very long time, and um, from moving from New York to California, moving back from California to New York, moving to Colorado, to moving back to New York, this watch has been a part of my collection and it's actually a watch that I've serviced myself and and got in working condition because it did stop working on me for uh, close to a year or in and about a year so um, glad to have it back in my collection a lot of people would have thrown the watch away thinking that they didn't spend about $200 on it I kept it okay here's another ad in my collection and this watch is a long jeans automatic Olympian okay let me give this a quick shake up Let's get that hand moving real quick. This watch reminds me of the old school television. The old school black and white televisions or the ones that just started getting color. But it reminds me of that. It reminds me of that. That era of um, 
techno technological advancements and um this watch just it displays so much class so much taste it's an olympian i've never seen anyone show a long jeans like this i've seen people show long jeans and they're usually the same they look the same this reminds me of a flying saucer and looking at it from this angle right here and um the classic vintage detail of this watch um i had to do something different it came with a leather strap so instead of me keeping it on a leather strap i took it off the leather strap and i i, I purchased a rubber strap for it i had one made for it and i had my nickname engraved on the buckle have my nickname engraved on the buckle giving this watch a piece of my own history I really really love this watch there's a pair of uh, retro Jordans that I wear that I have um, they're the the number nines no I'm lying they're the sevens the number sevens and uh, I wear the sevens with this watch right here in particular um, I love this watch. I really love this long jeans right here. It's an automatic Olympian. Like I said, I've never seen anyone showing their collection show an Olympian. Never. So I'm proud to have it. Next up is a Zenith Defy. One of the first ones made, uh, I can't tell you if it's the first one made, but I can tell you it's one of the first DeFi's made by Zenith. And um, in the, it's in immaculate condition for its age, for it to be as old as, as it is, the bracelet, uh, everything about the watch is in great condition. This watch has no issues whatsoever. It takes little to no effort to get this uh, watch moving. There we go. Takes little to no effort to get this watch moving. Um, watch. Just gave it a quick crank. You see that second hand going. I'll do a review on this watch and I'll give you the story behind this watch. Um, great watch to have in your collection. I really, really, really love this watch. Look at the crystal on it. I mean, everything is in beautiful, beautiful condition. You got to love it. Next up, my first Gerard Pagot timepiece. This watch is gold filled. It's gold filled, people. This watch has a, a great history with it, which we'll get into. It's a gyromatic. It doesn't take long for this watch to get up either, though. Watch. Give it two quick shakes. Look at that second hand go. Moves like it's brand new. The patina on the crown starting to show its age. There's a, a patina on the casing, but the gold is still strong on it. The gold is really, really still strong on it. This watch has a history because it once belonged to Chester Oblock, 1971, backer of the year. Pyramid Cafe. So I'm not sure if he um, helped invest in Pyramid Cafe uh, or he was um, someone that uh, was an owner of it and not just an investor. But I believe there's a great chance that he was gifted this watch. Let's give it another. I believe that he was gifted this watch as a, um, as a thank you and appreciation. And his name was engraved on the back of the watch. So that in itself, you know, it, it meant something to him. It was a gift to him. It meant a lot to him. And I want to I wanna keep this watch in my collection. I'm not going to give this watch up. It would make no sense to give this watch up, to see it go anywhere, knowing that it has such a great history. I do have another Gerard Pagot that I plan on adding to my collection, which I will add to my collection. But um, this right here is a beautiful have. I'm really, really happy to have it. It just, you know, it's still, it's still, it's still doing what it's supposed to do. 1971. This is my first Omega Seamaster. Let's see if we can get that to look at that. The patina 
on the minute hand, on the hour hand, on the on the face. This watch is in beautiful condition. Look at that crystal in beautiful, beautiful condition. This is a manual wind. It has, uh, it's actually moving right now. So it has a quick date um, change. So when you pull out the crown all the way out, it changes the date quickly for you. And you can do so a few times uh, fast. Then you can just get through real quick and real fast to, the, uh, to what it is you're looking for. Let's see if we can get this to focus in. Would you focus already? I'm sorry, guys, about uh, uh, about cam number two. Cam number two sometimes does this. Backs up. We got to get another cam in here for cam number two. It's like it focus on everything else until I do this or something. Would you focus, man? Cam number two, you're embarrassing me on YouTube. There you go. The Patina on the Dow. I mean, this Seamaster Cosmic is the first Omega that I got for myself. I'm very proud to have it in my collection. It came with this leather and canvas strap, and this leather and canvas strap does this watch justice. Like I said again, uh, it's the summertime, genuine leather. It's the summertime, so um, I wanted to put a different band on. That way, you know, you don't mess up the leather bands that you have. And it, it did it justice, you know. I really, 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 really love this watch. My first Seamaster. Let's get to my next uh, Omega. This is an 18 karat roll gold Omega Jumbo with a honeycomb dial. The dial on this has a honeycomb pattern. Very small indentations. I guess you can see now. You see the indentations. Look at that. It's a patina on the second hand. Let's give it a wind real quick. Let's give it a wind. See that second hand moving. You see the patterns, the patterns as they 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 just slightly showed it themselves. This is a beautiful watch that I purchased. Uh, 18 karat rose gold. Has a small bronze in it right there. But that just gives the watch character. Shows the watch has been used. Um, I'm appreciative for it. It's my first rose gold watch that I've had in my collection. Um, a beauty to have. Of course, it's a manual wine. This watch is old. We'll get reviews on each and every watch that we have in the collection. That way, um, each watch can have the respect deserved. Uh, we're telling their stories. This is 18 karat solid rose gold. Honeycomb dial. And this watch is in beautiful condition. See that? You see the crystal? Beautiful. Okay, next up is my Rolex Tador. I love uh, this Rolex. The the patina on the on the um, on the hour hand, the minute hand, the second hand on the on the on the dial. It's all. It's just beautiful, real beautiful. This is when Rolex had more involvement with Tador. Now you would look at Tador watches and you would see that there's a Tador 
logo on it and not a Rolex crown. This is a genuine Rolex oyster casing on the watch. Um, I did talk about this in the last video. This is a watch that I purchased that uh, it shows its value after the purchase, but you can tell. Uh, case by Rolex, original oyster case by Rolex, you need see the crown in there. Okay. This watch I have on a leather strap. I took the buckle, the Rolex buckle off the strap. I put it on the NATO strap. But this is the um, the strap that I usually have it on. And I call this the Black Brick Road strap. It just gives this watch so much character when I put this strap on it. Genuine leather. You can tell that it's 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 worn. You can see the just the oil stain from coconut oil I put on my skin, but you can see it's stained on the strap. Um, I love this strap on that watch. Summertime, of course, so you don't want to wear leather and be too hot. I put the NATO on it. The NATO's doing just fine. Um, with the with this watch, um, it does have a gold buckle, but the seller didn't want to sell it to me for some strange reason. I don't want to get into our arguments about it. Um, I did have this Omega clasp on it, but it, it it made the watch feel so heavy. I took it off. I put a regular buckle on it. I am ordering uh, a 14 karat uh, yellow gold buckle for for this strap to put it on the watch. Uh, consequently, I wish I could have the original buckle for the watch, but I don't. Next is this beautiful, immaculate Rolex Oyster Date Precision. This is a uh, model 6066. I know I wasn't supposed to say it about um, what model or whatever it is. Some people might say, oh, this watch is a small watch. This watch is not a small watch. This watch is 33 millimeters, um, and that's in crown included. Uh, it fits my wrist perfect. I think the watches, the size matters and relative and relative when it's relative to the size of your wrist. You can't be super uh, large. And um and then wear a watch like this. No, but my wrists are very very small. I've never seen uh, a, a, a 6066 model in such pristine condition, with everything intact the way it is. Look at this. Look at this casing on it. No, no, no scrapes. No anything. The the actual crown says Super Oyster. It says um Super Oyster Rolex on the crown immaculate condition and it fits my wrist perfect 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 I have very very small wrists I'm, I'm not a guy who likes big watches um, the big watches hurt my 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 hand the outs the outside of my hand because of the crown it always pushes on it and I don't like that feeling but um this watch on my wrist perfect See how small my wrist is. My wrist is very small. So this watch fits absolutely amazing on it. You got to you gotta appreciate that. This watch comes with um, pig skin straps. And they are soft. Like the softest leather ever. 100% uh, genuine pig skin. Um, uh, a real uh, strap maker, respected strap maker. This, just the uh, the feel of this is so soft. Are you this with this. Um, I didn't even have to take this off of the watch because of summertime. This is how light this this um, this strap is. It's like not even knowing that you have it on your wrist. But being that I have so many different um, straps, specifically sixteen millimeter for this watch. Um, it was fun to put this this orange one on and give it that funky detail, that funky look. Next, last but not least, is this is the eighth Rolex that I purchased myself. This is uh, 18 karat yellow gold. It's a solid 18 karat yellow gold Rolex date just. Pride and joy in my collection. I didn't enjoy my collection. You see that 18k mark right there. 
Rolex bracelet, all authentic, all original, original clasp, solid gold, no plating on this. You see the condition of that crystal, just beautiful, beautiful timepiece. The absolute favorite in my collection, this watch means a lot to me. And when I do a review on the watch, I'll tell you exactly why. We'll go over some Rolexes that I had that I no longer have. Uh, one of them that I did um, I did lose, I actually saw it online, my exact watch, online for sale. So I'll be trying to purchase that watch and get that watch back in my collection before the year is out, hopefully uh, very soon at that. So hopefully I'll be able to get that watch back. And this watch was sponsored. One, two, three. Look at that second hand go. In immaculate condition. This is my timepiece collection. I hope that you guys appreciate my collection. I hope that um, it inspires you in some way, shape, or form to dare to be different. To um, And a lot of these watches are... are um, watches. Some of these watches are watches that I've got this year. Some of them I have for years, and some of them I have not had for years. Uh, some of them I've had maybe for a month. Some I've had for maybe two months. Um, some I've had maybe longer than that. Uh, but this is my collection. This is a collection that I'm proud to have. And I hope that... Um, I hope that you enjoyed watching it. I don't want to keep you guys long. You can go on my original YouTube channel, which is the New Right Party. I have 9,100 subscribers on this channel. Oh, I had 1,003. I guess I lost a subscriber. Maybe somebody's upset with me. I don't know. I'm not sure. But let's check it out real quick. Go. Let's check it out. Let's see. This uh, my other YouTube channel. If you're into politics, um, uh, you can subscribe to this channel, the New Right Party. Nine thousand one hundred and two subscribers currently, right now, and um, you can also find me on Instagram. And uh, on Instagram, you can find me under the name Montega. M O N T A G A. I have 26,700 subscribers on Instagram. Um, if you're in New York, you can support my run for Congress. I'm running in District 14 against Alexandria Cortez. Um, I have great policy plans. Uh, I have experience with just surviving the streets in general, um, knowing what it, it, what it takes to have to change your life for the better. You know, being a gangbanger, changing your life, giving it to God, putting your best foot forward, surviving uh, the streets, prison, changing your life, wanting something better for yourself. I am truly the American dream. I have the experience needed to change what needs to be changed. And I hope that you support me in my run or you at least give me a chance to have uh, my policies heard to see how it can affect you and help you within your community. I want to thank you guys for tuning in. I'm sorry about the um, the audio of the last uh, State of the Watch collection, but this will be here to replace it. And uh, Stay safe. Stay healthy. Um, if you're American, stay American. If you're anywhere abroad, stay true to yourself. Always put God first. Um, and realize that time is the most important thing you have while you are alive. From being incarcerated, I learned that time is highly important. What you do with your time is very, very important. Okay. This is the one thing that you cannot get back. Okay. You can spend a dollar today and make a dollar tomorrow, but every hour you lose today, you can't make it back tomorrow. Tomorrow you're given a new 24. 
uh, 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 and that's if you make it. And even in that new 24, you can't get back any hours from the prior day. You can't. You, it's, it's impossible. The most important thing we have on this planet is time. The reason why time pieces to me are so important is because there are so many parts in this time piece that allows it to tell you what time it is. All of these parts work in concert together just to give you the time. But if one part inside this time piece stops working, it no longer tells time. It stops doing the main thing it's supposed to do for you. And I'm telling you that to tell you that if you put the right pieces in your life, the time that you have while you're here, it will be the best time that you'll have. Make sure that the pieces that you have working with you and around you are working in concert with you. So every last one of you are making each other better in life, as people, uh, as far as um, your aspirations and employment, how you treat other people, the things you do for other people. Have people around you that actually help you as a person have people working in concert with you to make sure that the time you have while you are here is the best time you'll ever have and get to experience don't take your time for granted don't take your loved ones for granted learn to forgive some things learn to let some things go we only have this one life to live within this time that we have it in appreciate the time that you have Thank you for tuning in, everybody. I appreciate you for being here. I want to thank you for being here. And um, we all have other shows coming. We will do reviews on each and every time piece that I have. I might show you this, the home studio that we have here to show you how great my studio is, how much of a man cave it is. I may show you some of my figurines that I have that I collect, um, just some things that I like to have. I may show you my cologne collection to show you you know, how big I am on since I may show you my suit collection to show you how big I am on fashion. I may show you some of my retro Jordans to show you how just ask. Get in the comment section. Ask if you want me to review your vintage time collection. Leave leave a comment below. OK, and I will be giving a giveaway soon. The giveaway will be a DJI. Product. And it's a. Uh, Osmos Mobile, brand new, okay? And this will be a giveaway, and I'm waiting until I reach uh, a 1,000 subscribers on this channel, and when I reach a 1,000 subscribers on this channel, I will be giving away this DJI uh, Osmosis um, Mobile. For those of you who, you know, who want to be able to film on the run, um, it's a great gift for you to have. Um, I would love to have it. That's why I have it now. So it's something that I feel that uh, a lot of people would love to have if you're taking uh, the idea of filming on the go serious and you use your phone, which a lot of phones now have the capability of shooting in 4K. I know my iPhone 10, whatever model this is, does. So I hope you will enjoy it. Uh, remember, we need a thousand subscribers for me to uh, pick someone to get it. And um, again, thank you for tuning in, guys. I appreciate you for being here. Stay safe.